that my client is responsible for the accident that caused the life of an individual that my client has covered up the loss of life the court can see that my client is involved in the killing of an individual identified as forgotten has never said nothing like that i said i have never caused the life of anyone accidentally or otherwise accidentally intentionally or otherwise that my client was connected to convicted terrorist abdul kadir we are going to court now if you understand if we didn't get across that bridge we were in deep trouble because we were using minibuses and ordinary four by four and the other routes i understand only atv could have used it so Listen to me, here with data. They thought when they give me this contract for this wire and so you could call me in the office and say, say this and say that and do this and do that. The man tell me several locations. I have recordings, I have messages. You can't do this, you can't say they can not fucking me. That's a matter of fact. I said not me. He thought to give me a tree army like me get excited. Oh man, give me a tree army not a contract. I can do all he said. Not fucking me um with respect to this the christian name of the person the people in the rupununi will know that this is a person whose name has been called and who has been once at least once arrested for allegedly committing rape on a minor indigenous person and who either still holds or once held the um a cdo's posting well you still didn't get your ticket this flight takes off every single day. Tap that subscription button. Thanks. Three mini buses alone. I tell you, I've been low life hungry. Really public transportation. Ah, my client is a wanted criminal. Nothing of the sort. I can't imagine because I don't know. I don't know of that. I've never seen a wanted sign for them. So I can't imagine. I gotta go look back at the video. My client, along with other persons, destroy evidence in relation to the said shooting and killing. I says that. I say you gotta go and figure out who has the resources to make camera don't work. This liar, he this liar defaming me now in this letter. Punai and Punai, like he had not to go. <laughs> My client buy people and wanted to buy and control you. That's a matter of fact. I have had. A... Listen to me, here with data. They thought when they give me this contract for this wire and so you could call me in the office and say, say this and say that and do this and do that. They might tell me several locations. I have recordings, I have messages. You can't do this. You can't say they can not fucking me. That's a matter of fact. I said not me. He thought to give me a tree army like me get excited. Oh, man, give me a tree army not a contract. I can do all he said. Not fucking me. I don't depend on that. My client wants to buy control. There's a he word. He said, I tell you, don't call people hungry. Belly alone. Will you could fucking tell me? What do you want? That my client is responsible for the accident that caused the life of an individual. That my client has covered up the loss of life. The court can see. That my client is involved in the killing of an individual identified as forgotten has never said nothing like that. I said, I have never caused the life of anyone, accidentally or otherwise. Accidentally, intentionally or otherwise. That my client was connected to convicted terrorist Abdul Kadir, we are going to court. That my client is accustomed to killing people and settling. We are going to court. Plainly speaking, all of these statements and accusations against my client are patently um, untrue. 
without justification misleading defamatory and has caused significant harm and injustice to my client his good name his repetition and lowering his standing in the minds of right thinking members of the public done stocks in their mind nothing lowers for them <laughs> they got no right thinking body in this country that's why nobody says anything since this this big controversy is that not a buy of any credibility has come and tap for say man critic shouldn't do this not a buy nobody wants association yes and and if for somehow they feel that somebody feel it don't stocks don't feel no way they don't care you give them a little money you buy a bicycle for them you get them for don't stocks don't care Toggery is the thing. They ain't got no moral standing. So, so you ain't got to study. You're standing with your following. Ain't got no way. Injustice to my client, his good name, his repetition, lowering his standards in the mind of right thinking members of the society. They ain't got no association with no right thinking members. My client, his good name, has suffered great harm to his repetition due to your injustified unjustified conduct no again remember no they say oh god like it's defamation again is that defamation again i'm reading a letter they sent to me i just read it public i'm giving my opinion on it right your opinion can be different it is noted in your daily broadcast you introduce yourself as the realest thing despite this it seems that you have a propensity for disseminating blatant untrue, libelous and fictitious statements without lawful basis or justification. That in their natural and ordinary meaning and may by way of innuendo and defamatory to my client and his repetition. For it, you hold yourself out as a critic Yet none of your statements are valid or constructive criticism at all. No, no, no. Valid and constructive criticism is where you're trying to decipher and explain things. There ain't no criticism in fact. I wasn't relaying my opinions. I wasn't deciphering anything. You understand? If you see shit, and you say you see shit, it's shit. If you smell shit, and you see shit, and you see, say you smell shit that you see, is shit your smell. It is not my opinion that is shit. Shit is shit. Right? Just, just for clarity. We're going through again, and I hope this ends here. Well, it can't end it because I got for a reply to the letter now. You understand? They wake up and see that if they stop, I will stop. Done this nonsense. You understand? Because nobody's paying attention. But, oh, critic. I am the Guyanese critic. The realest thing in the world. Not the realest thing in Guyana. This is my speciality. <laughs> You believe anybody reading a letter like this sent to them? Anybody reading it out and deciphering it? No. I could make it an interesting story. People hide in this, believe why but no people get them to court. Who could have done this? With such finesse. <laughs> so. Yeah, bye. Yeah. Don't get time to spell. Spell and dog. You don't too low. Many people worry. Don't want to be with them people that worry. Roger that. Good. Same. You definitely walk. <laughs> you better wear your seatbelt when you're driving. You up there. You a depper. This is one of my drivers. They yeah walk. <laughs> yeah, listen to me. <laughs> you like shit, but it's bad. Further, <laughs> uh, you hold yourself out to be a critic. Yet none of your statements are valid. Or constructive criticism at all. You can't have constructive criticism 
when discussing these things. I know constructive criticism is it. What am I to say? Oh, you could have handled these things better. Them thing you can handle better? Huh? <laughs> eh? Man, I ain't make joke in this place, sir. Simply put, none of your statements are real, no matter the decibel level you speak, the amount of times you repeat, or the amount of vitriol and hate you heap upon my client, his son and family. In response to your earlier comment that war is upon my family, his, his son and family, upon my client, his son and family, there is a... How, how do you pronounce this? It, it can be V I T R I O L. V Let's get the right pronunciation for this. this. I'm not pronouncing it right. I don't think. Hello, good morning. Present good morning to you, Critic. Um, I'm listening to your program attentively. One thing comes to mind um, with reference to the letter you're reading. If not, it's basically saying that whatever you say in your program is untruth. If that is untrue to the individual who sent you that, why they bother to send you a letter telling you it is untruth? Why would they bother? Why would it bother them? So, well, the, like the, for me, I would say, oh, nothing he said makes sense. Let him continue to do what he's doing. But well, it's the same thing I do. Them to send that letter when it's untruth. Mm. How brilliant is that lawyer? Well, you got you got this is this is my money so if your client reaches out to you and said this and you wouldn't advise the client here it's better to let sleeping dogs lie because when this banning and carry on a reply i think they i think they thought that i would have gone into a shell but if they could not oh, they have had the if here. they could not have they gotten control of me when they gave me a 500 million half a billion dollar contract you still couldn't have controlled me yes and they realize i can't be controlled I am. Um, I hope. I hope individuals that are looking at your program can learn something from a letter like that. I. I hope too. Have a blessed day. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. How you can? Were you sent an ice? Was a frightened? You put yourself out there every day. Every day you post. You put yourself out there. Once you've attained a certain level of notoriety in society, you here, this thing is bothering me one one time. When um I can't figure out how to properly pronounce certain words. So the word is Z A T R I O L Pronunciation. Let me Vitriol. 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 Vitriol is the word. Thank you, Google. And don't let pass uh, 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 for my viewers out there who don't know. Simply think, oh God, me. You want people to know? Here, nobody knows everything. If you do not know something, learn it. You could only ship it one time. You understand? But you could be acting the fool for a fucking lifetime. You could only ship it one time. If you don't know a word, me, them thing is bad at me. If me think, uh, like, yeah, I said. All right. Uh, so, or the amount of vitriol and hate you heap upon my client, his son, and family. In response to your earlier comment that war is upon my family, his son, and family, this is seemingly yet another delusion. My client has no intention to go to war with you and must now seek to enforce the rights and vindicate. In enforce his rights and vindicate his good name given your libelous statement and unjustifiable uh, conduct your claim of war and again this is clear there's no physical nature to my claim of war I've said it to Donald Ramatar call my name I says war I went on to attack publicly Donald Ramatar verbally one love Delta 9 family, welcome back to the flight. If this is your first time flying with us, hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana 
and the diaspora. It's a sad thing when friends become enemies, when friends become your rivals and your foes, or were they ever really friends? Were they really friends? Was it just a situation of opportunity on either side? An opportunity, allegedly, for one person to benefit from the affluence of the other? Allegedly? The opportunity for the other to benefit from feeling like a regular person, like everybody else, as a part of a crew, and not being looked at as just the other person, the wealthy person, the money man. Even though this has been great content and entertaining at times, we know that these two brothers right here, these two brothers of the style right here, they're both affluent and they're able to live a life that most Guyanese are not able to. So even though we enjoy the entertainment and the content, to be honest with you, if either of you guys ever hear this, you could settle it off the internet and nobody else ain't got to know nothing more. Because guess what? When one heard the other, it's still a Guyanese going to suffer in the end. Right? And when one gets stained, everybody gets stained. That's how I see it. I could be completely wrong. I mean, picking no side or one side. I'm just looking at it from a perspective. Now, we hear about this bridge situation, but we got to hear it directly from the person's mouth who was involved and who was there. We're going to hear from the Honorable Mr. Norton, and he's going to give us the insights and the intricacies of what took place. What was at stake if they didn't cross that bridge before it was burned? Was it a possibility that they could have been harmed while crossing the bridge? Who set fire to this bridge? They already got this information. And they know the person there. And guess what? He already got your karma. But guess what? We can hear directly from the Honorable Minister. And he's going to tell us directly what happened here. Of breakfast. When one of the villagers informed us that a fire was set to the key bridge, we sent out a team to check. When we checked, we recognized, one, the bridge was on fire. When they check, you, you, you were concerned that it might have been a bushfire. But then when we checked, there was no bushfire in the surrounding area. And it was clear that it was set at two points, the main beam on the bridges and another point close to the, 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 the concrete base where there was some wood. Well, not concrete, but some bricks where there was an upright. Now, I, we reasoned that they were hoping that by 10, this total bridge would have been on fire and it would have been difficult for us to cross. Now, if you understand, if we didn't get across that bridge, we were in deep trouble because we were using minibuses and ordinary 4 by 4 And the other routes, I understand only ATV could have used it. So we immediately got together our things and ensure we get across the bridge before. As of this morning, we received the Christian name of the person who actually set the fire. We're trying to get the full information to say to the police, this is our information. You need to investigate. Not that we expect any investigation, but we believe it is our duty to tell them. I know more of it went in the team that was the advanced team looking at the bridge. So if he wants to add anything, he's free to at this stage. Thank you, Comrade Leader. The bridge is is a it's over a creek that's dry, and the revetment that holds the road to the bridge, that was completely burnt out. So with a few vehicles traversing the road, it's clear that the, the dirt road would have collapsed. Even if the bridge wasn't totally burnt, it would have been inaccessible to vehicles. 
Um, with respect to this, the Christian name of the person, the people in the Rupununi will know that this is a person whose name has been called and who has been once, at least once, arrested for allegedly committing rape on a minor indigenous person and who either still holds or once held the um, a CDO's posting. A very close relative of a senior, if not influential, PPP operative in Lethem. <clears throat> this young man is also, I'm told, a town councillor in the main town council of Lethem. And he's a supervisor for CDOs in Region 9. Our report says that he was in the process of visiting homes and offering to people reasons why they should not attend our meetings and making suggestions about consequences that would befall him if they didn't. It is alleged that the young man was drunk. Yes, if they did, if they did, sorry. Um, it is alleged that he was drunk. He was using a government-owned altering vehicle. Ended up in an accident and was listed as critical in the Latham of hospital. We don't know what his current position is, but that was the mission that he was on. Those are his connections. That's what he was doing. And that's how it ended. And we regret the fact that he was injured and wish him a speedy recovery, notwithstanding the circumstances. Thanks again for watching. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next flight. 100% wild crafted sea moss from nature by natives. Why pay more? You guys give critics five million dollars. Is this real or is it a prank, boss? No disrespect. No, no the man come here and said, Pops, I need five million dollars to, to go and um, settle with his family. You know. Oh, yeah. We gave him the five million dollars. Cash, he cash money. Family, nothing. Five million dollar cash. Oh my God, boss! I tell you the same. I tell you the